hello everybody i thank you today for listening for following the the reading of the bible for following the word of god it is not about following somebody but it is about following our god our one and only god the beginning and the end the alpha and the omega hallelujah he is the beginning of our story and the end of our story hallelujah he is our god and we have to have time with him hallelujah today we are on matthew chapter 1 uh, the topic is the genealogy of our lord jesus christ this topic is very interesting ladies and gentlemen hallelujah children of god sons sons women and men of god this topic is interesting because it shows us um about uh, the family tree of our lord jesus christ hallelujah um as we will see there are names that stick out they stick out because there is a lot that is written on them in in this word of god hallelujah there is a lot that written about them a lot more than the others so as i read because the genealogy involves more than 40 generations as i read i will not read every name because of pronunciation and also because i uh, i will i will read more of those names that we are familiar with that have stuck out in the bible or that have stuck out in their in their walk with god hallelujah and um i hope by the time we finish we will be blessed we will never be the same again because the word of god in, in us is activated by this same word of god hallelujah when we follow the word of god that word of god activates the word of god in us and the word of god in us is kept alive hallelujah because the word of god sharpens the word of god hallelujah iron sharpens iron hallelujah in jesus mighty name hallelujah if it's a lifestyle then it it doesn't have to 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 be like we are putting so much effort hallelujah it it if we make it a lifestyle for practice it it will just look like uh, we are making porridge hallelujah um we are making porridge to keep us alive and kicking again and continue to do the works that we do the same with this word the more we take it in the more it keeps the word in us alive and the word in us keeps us doing the way the work that we're supposed to do hallelujah and we become doers of the word hallelujah because faith without works is dead hallelujah so the genealogy of our lord jesus christ is the topic but i would like to promise you one thing um when after we finish this chapter in the next uh, video i will put prophecy what god said about the genealogy of our lord jesus christ hallelujah i will start to read verse 1 <laughs> Let's go on the book of the generation of Jesus Christ the son of David the son of Abraham verse 2 Abraham begat Isaac and Isaac begat Jacob and Jacob begat Judah and his brethren and Judah begat Perez and Zerah of Tamar then i will skip quite a number of names for the reasons i've already given i will go to the end of verse 5 obed beget jesse and jesse beget david the king and david beget solomon of her that had been the wife of uria and solomon beget rohobam and then i will end there for 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 these names i am picking on the prominent ones okay i will skip from verse 7 where i am right now and i will go to start at uh, verse 16 so i have skipped quite a lot of names hallelujah which includes manase uh, amon josiah so i am now on uh, verse 16 and jacob begat a uh, 
Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This Jacob is not the Jacob in the first generation or the second generation. This Jacob is uh, the Jacob in the in the almost at the end of the generations. This Jacob in verse 16, he begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So I'll go to verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham unto, unto David are 14 generations. And from uh, David unto the carrying away of Bab to Babylon, 14 generations. So that's 28. And from the carrying away to Babylon unto Christ, 14 generations so uh, that's about uh, 32 42 okay generations in the genealogy of our lord jesus christ and behold i am coming back with prophecy about this genealogy what god has said about this genealogy hallelujah uh and you also realize why i was picking on on some names to read and living out the others hallelujah um so we go to verse 18 so that we finish this chapter which is a uh, titled the birth of jesus verse 18 now the birth of jesus christ was on this wise when his mother mary had been betrothed beth betrothed to to joseph before they came together she was found with child of the holy ghost and joseph her husband being a righteous man and not willing to make a, a public example was minded to put her away privately but when he thought on these things behold the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call, call, call his name Jesus, for it is he that shall save his people from their sins. Now all this is come to pass, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being with child. And shall which I'll read that again. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted God with us. And Joseph arose from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. And took unto him his wife, and knew her not, till she had brought, brought forth a son, and he called his name Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, this is the end of uh, Matthew chapter 1. In the very uh, next video, I am putting what God uh has told us about the genealogy so don't miss the coming video hallelujah be you blessed in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen